An investigation into cocaine trafficking in Carroll County has landed three people behind bars, and the arrest may not end there. WMER2 News Jeff Hager has more on the bus today. Jeff? Kelly, a combined effort of local, state, and federal law enforcers has paid off after months of investigation, getting a pair of alleged traffickers off of the streets of Westminster. Shootings, stabbings, drugs. Over the last six months, people living here in the Bishop's Garth apartment complex in Westminster have seen it all. The place getting better and better. It's getting worse here. But the tide may have turned over the weekend when police raided an apartment armed with search warrants. Right over here in the apartment, they um, busted the way and over here. Police arrested 35-year-old Mark James Geis on heroin and drug paraphernalia charges, and that arrest paled in comparison to two others, which were months in the making by the Maryland Criminal Intelligence Network, an initiative of Governor Larry Hogan that targets criminal networks. 27-year-old Amanda Marie Knight of Westminster faces cocaine distribution charges, as does 26-year-old Maurice Rashad Garrison of Baltimore, who was busted in Carroll County with more than $1,200 in cash on him. Well, look, we've had cases. Um, this one has tentacles that went from Baltimore into Carroll County. Uh, we've had cases in recent years um, where we've made arrests where they've had drugs that have started in Baltimore and went out to Western, Western Maryland or vice versa because you know, we have such access, easy access to various highways, whether it be 95, 81, 70 and so forth. While police stopped short of saying such arrests will halt the flow of drugs into Carroll County, they say each one will serve to make the community a little bit safer. And the investigation is far from over. These arrests are an initial arrest. Um, our investigation is continuing and, you know, it is our belief that you know additional arrests you know, could be made in, in the near future. Now, in addition to state police and those in Carroll County, Homeland Security and U.S. Marshals also assisted in this investigation. Tonight, all three suspects are being held with no bond.